Hello, bookish Brits. I know I'm a day late. I'm sorry. Forgive me. I had family and birthdays over the course of the few week, last few days, so I have not been more organised as I should be. As I, I asked this last night on my Twitter, and I asked which one I should do, what a review or TBR for this month, and you guys said TBR. So that is what I am doing. I'm doing my June TBR now. It's a very small TBR. I, I only literally have three, which are kind of concrete uh, set. I am doing nothing else but those three. It's also quite big. <laughs> well, two are quite big. One, I don't know of, and that's the first one I want to talk about. I have an, un as you guys are probably aware from my Twitter and my blog, I am doing, I'm the moderator of two um, YA book clubs as part of the South Manx Festival of Love in London. I don't know if that's a good thing or not, I'm quite scared. Um, I, haven't, I don't know what book it is, it's down to three, and there will be a Twitter poll soon ish. And. It will be very interesting. It's a bit scary, but it'll be a bit interesting. So that's one of them. I have to read that by the 9th. So that one has a deadline. <laughs> that I have to read. There's no getting away from it. And oh, they're right by my hips, so I've got to lean. So that's my first. And I have no get out of jail free card. I have to read that no matter what. The second book, which I'm currently trying to read now, and I'm doing very slowly, is this one. Now this is an arc. So this isn't the cover. It is To the Bright Edge of the World. I always get the title wrong. By... I am, gonna... I am not even going to... Oh god, it's very white. Hang on, let me show you the cover cover. Because that's my arc. That's the cover. This is the author that wrote The Snow Child a few years ago, which is that book. And it, that book, I love that book. So when I got this book back in April, before I did my murder month, I got it got very very excited then I was like I can't read that till after till June so I haven't done it and that's how far I've only really reading it for about a week that is how far I got and I feel like I'm failing because it's like 400 pages but it's told in a very different style to what I'm used to it's told I don't think I'm revealing much by telling you this it's told in a style of letters and diary entries and I'm not used to that you know that non-lineal um way of storytelling so that's interesting so I'm taking it a bit slower I'm taking my time I'm having fun with this, but I, I feel like I'm failing. Um, yes, that's what I'm reading at the moment. This is my current book read. Although as soon as I get myself my book, I'm dropping this, but I will return to it because I want to talk to you guys about it because I think this is a very interesting book for me to talk about. Um, the third big book that I'm trying to do, and this is probably the biggest book I'm reading this month, unless I get that audiobook I really, really want. That's 33 hours long. I really don't know why or not. I'm really scared to start it. Um, but the third book I am going to read is this one, which is American Gods by Neil Gaiman. This and actually this one were both given to me by the publisher, by Headline. And, and the reason was I was talking to one of the people at Headline and they knew how much I really wanted that book. And I was talking about Neil Gaiman because there was a lot of casting news because they're turning this into a TV program. So excited. Exciting. And I said, and they said, have you read this? I said, no, but I know it's the big, it's the big mama of Neil Gaiman books. It's the big mama. And then, out of nowhere, this just came through my door. It's brilliant. I'm, I'm very, very excited. I've got Stylus on my Kindle, but I want to read this one. This is the one I want to read, this one. The cover is gorgeous, by the way. I love the cover design. Um, don't really know much about it. I know it's in America. I know there's something to gods in there. <laughs> Gee, I wonder why I think that. But it doesn't really come that on the first line of um, the, the, the book. I, I literally opened it. I was like, okay, we're dealing with someone who's in jail. Um, so, yes, I'm really intrigued to see how this gets turned into um, a TV programme, but it's it's very big. It's like 600 pages, there's discussion notes and ideas and stuff, so I might be using this a lot. But yeah, it's basically those two and the mystery third book. I do have other books on standby, in case I blitz these three. <laughs> don't know how, but in case I do, I have books on standby, which I'm going to leave these three. Oh, no these three, which is The Vile Village by Lemony Snicket. The, I'm doing an unofficial thing, I don't know why, I'm reading that entire series this year. Uh, Song of Achilles, Achilles by uh, Madeline Miller, that everyone's telling me I would, this is totally my book, totally my book, and I got it for my birthday, I bought it for my birthday, too. and it's just, it just, it's, it's a lot thinner than I expected it to be, it's quite thin, but that should be fun. And randomly, I got. I'm going. I want to try and read Mrs. Dalloway. 
discovered a new world. I feel like I'm trying this for the next few months before I go away in October. I really want to try and be a little bit more brave with my book choices. And yes, I'm going to pick my same normal books. There's one book I saw online which I really, really want to read because people have given proofs. But they've been told nothing about the book. There's no title, there is no author, there's no information about the books. So you can't do any research. I love, I love the idea of just going into a book so utterly blind. So I I think I might have to do that. I might have to just go to you guys and go, I've got these five books, I don't know what they are, pick one and just pick and you guys pick it. That's what the Starbucks is doing. Oh god, yeah, but Neil Gaiman and Oh crap bitch his name. Leon Ivory? 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 <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Yeah, so it's just so free. I've got a few of us on standby on my Kindle from UK authors, Australian authors, but they're all quite grown up. I, I think I've turned a corner. That can't be a good sign. Anyway, I'll see you all later. I hope you have a good day and bye.